Hello everyone, how to solve this nice math Olympiad geometry problem? So here we have, this is a nice right triangle in which the length of its sides are x, x square and x cubed respectively. So here we need to find the value of x or in other words, we just need to find the length of all of these sides. Okay, so here we find the length of all of these sides of this triangle. Uh, so here you see that this is a right triangle and we know about that this angle is called the 90 degree angle uh, and this is any other obtuse angle okay uh, so here you know about that in a right triangle the pythagoras theorem is hold okay and you know about the pythagoras theorem it is stated as uh, hypotenuse square is equals to base square plus perpendicular square so here first we uh, just uh, find that which of the uh, side are hypotenuse base and perpendicular so you know about that the side opposite to the 90 angle is called the hypotenuse it means that x cube be the hypotenuse side and the side we join these two angles is called the base of this triangle so this is our base and the third side is called the perpendicular side of the triangle okay uh, so here uh, we uh, know about all these three values and now we substitute all of these three values in this formula so after substituting these values it will be written as uh, so here first you see that we have this is hypotenuse square and here our hypotenuse is x cubed we put it here it will becomes x cubed whole square is equals to this is base square and base is x square and uh, plus we have perpendicular square the value of perpendicular is x square we substitute it here and it will becomes x square and its whole square so uh, further uh, in the next step here we need more simplifications and it will be written as now uh, here we use the nice exponential law and according to this law we need to multiply these two exponents and you see here this is 3 times of 2 becomes 6 and we get x to the power of 6 is equals to this is x square plus this is 2 times 2 becomes here 4 okay uh, so uh, further in the next step uh, we need uh, to move all of these values from right hand side to the left hand side and after moving all of these values it will be written as uh, so uh, we have this is x to the power of 6 this is plus x to the power of 4 becomes minus x to the power of 4 and this will becomes minus x square and this whole equation is equals to zero and now you see here uh, all of these three terms involve x square or in other words we rewrite this equation as this is uh, uh, x to the power of six and we write it as four plus two minus this is x to the power of four we write it as two plus two minus this is x square and this whole equation is equals to zero and here we use another exponential line we break all of these exponents and it will be written as x to the power of 4 is multiplied by x square minus so when we break these exponents it will become here x square multiplied by x square minus this is x square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now you see here all of these terms involve x square so that we take common x square from here and we get the remaining values are from here we get x to the power of 4 minus from here we get x square minus from here we get only 1 because this x square is taken common and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x square equals to 0 and the second case is we write x to the power of 4 minus x square minus 1 is equals to 0. So from here we easily get the values of x is equals to 0. Uh, but you see here our x be the base of this triangle. So this is the base and we know about that in a triangle uh, all of the lengths are non-zero. Uh, so it means that if our base is equals to x is equals to 0. Uh, so this is that not possible that our base equals to zero okay uh, so that uh, we just uh, rejected this case because we need all the length of the sides are non-negative so here for uh, non-negative and non-zero okay 
so in order to find all these length we need to solve um, this equation so here first we need to convert this equation into the quadratic form and for this we rewrite this equation as this is x to the power of 4 we write it as x square and its whole square minus this is x square minus 1 is equals to 0 and now here in the next step uh, we will just take here uh, y is equals to x square so when you put uh, this x square equals to y it will becomes y square minus y minus 1 equals to 0 so our above equation will becomes quadratic in y variable and here we easily use the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation so for this first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1 b is equals to minus 1 and c is also equals to minus 1 and we state the quadratic formula as y is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and now here we need to substitute all the values of a b and c here and it will be written as this is the value of b is minus 1 so this is minus times of minus becomes plus 1 and plus minus square root of b square our b is minus 1 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is minus 1 and it is divided by 2 times of a and here our a is equals to 1 and further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as y is equals to 1 plus minus square root of minus 1 square becomes 1 and this is minus times minus becomes plus and 4 times 1 becomes 4 and it is divided by 2 times 1 equals to 2. So after little bit simplifications and it will be written as 1 plus minus square root of 5 divided by 2. So here we need to back substitute the value of y and we will take our y is equals to this x square uh, so when you put this value here it will becomes x square is equal to uh, here uh, we have this is 1 plus minus square root of 5 divided by 2 so because we solve this problem for only positive value so that here we neglect the negative case and this implies that we have only positive value it is 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and further in the next step now here we need more simplifications and now for the values of x we need to take again square root on both square root on both of the sides so when we apply square root on both of the sides it will be written as square root of x square is equals to square root of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 okay uh, so here we need more simplifications and you see here uh, this two and square root are gone and we will get here our x is equals to here we, we cannot write the plus minus sign and, uh, and here we just do the positive value because um, the length of all of the sides of triangle are positive so that we choose the positive value so here we choose our x is equals to this value uh, square root of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and if we uh, calculate the exact figure or approximately value of x it is equals to 1.272 so this is the uh, final value of x in this problem and this is the final answer thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos